Okay, so you've turned on your computer and suddenly all of your Google Chrome shortcuts have gone to Microsoft Edge shortcuts. What do you do? Have Microsoft removed Chrome or Firefox or Brave browser or, or whatever your favorite browser is? We'll show you how to restore it back to what it was. Stick around, all the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So from time to time, Microsoft like to change your default browser back to Microsoft Edge. This is really, really frustrating. And I get so many calls about this. And it looks like for some people, it looks like that, that Google has been removed. But fear not, usually it hasn't. This guide is going to show you a simple way of getting Google back or whatever your browser is. So, OK, then. So as you can see, my browser, the icons have changed to uh, edge this this bluey green icon here. Normally, my icons would look more like this, like the colorful Google Chrome icons. But Microsoft have decided that I'd be better off using Microsoft Edge. Now, the reason behind this is because, surprise, surprise, Microsoft own Edge. And obviously, they want to push their own browser. And there's nothing wrong with Microsoft Edge. But if you're used to using Google Chrome or Firefox or Brave browser or Opera browser, then you don't want to be changed to Microsoft. Edge. So how do you go about getting your good old faithful browser back to as it was before? So what we do is we just click on the start button at the bottom of the screen and then click on settings. And then what we're looking for on the left here is apps. So left click apps and then left click default apps. Scroll down until you find your browser. So my old browser was Google Chrome. I click on my browser, Google Chrome, and then at the top there, you've got make Google Chrome your default browser. Now, if it was a different browser, if it was Firefox, it would say make Firefox your default browser. So what we do is we just click set default just there on the right. Left click once and then close this down. And as you can see, there you go. My icons have been restored back to what they were before Microsoft changed it. Now, another thing Microsoft likes to do from time to time is to make the default reader for PDFs Edge as well. Now, when I say PDFs, I mean sort of things like manuals and insurance certificates, things like that. Um, if I go into this here, a guide to setting up OneDrive on your PC, I can see there it's going to open open up in Edge just by the icon. When I double click on it, yeah, OK, it opens up no problem in Edge. But there are some documents that don't open up properly in Edge. And the only thing they're going to open up in is Adobe Reader. So if you've got Adobe Reader or Adobe Acrobat installed on your system, then it means it would make sense to open up in Adobe rather than Edge because, like I say, Adobe does give you a more compatible app. So how do you change that back? Well, all you do is move your mouse over any PDF document. OK, click on the right mouse button and then go to properties, left click. And then where it's got opens with and it says Microsoft Edge, click on change and then select Adobe Acrobat. OK, so double click Adobe Acrobat, click on apply. Click on OK. And as you'll notice now, the icon changes for these PDF files. And if I double click on them, there you go. It opens up in Adobe Acrobat. Now, you do obviously have to have Adobe Reader installed to be able to use Adobe on your computer. And if you don't have it installed, then the best thing to do is just to open up your browser, whatever browser that may be. And then in the address bar right at the top of the screen, click in there and just type adobe.com forward slash reader. That's adobe.com forward slash reader, all in lowercase and no spaces. Then press enter or return on your keyboard. And then all you've got to do is just click on the download Acrobat reader and literally 
just follow the instructions on the screen. So quite simply, it says there, step one, download the software. Step two, finish installation. Open your downloads folder and locate the Adobe Acrobat installer file with a name like reader underscore UK underscore install.exe. So let's just go into the yellow folder there. Go to the downloads folder and hopefully we should see, there you go, reader just there. So double click reader and then click on yes if that comes up and just follow the instructions on screen. So there you go. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, and if it helped you out, then please consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel. Or have a look in the description down below. If you wanna have a look through my Amazon shop, or you're in the market for a VPN, Fire TV Stick or Fire TV Cube or Fire Stick accessories, we've got loads of great links in the description down there for you. Buying, subscribing and donating really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to spend more time researching to bring you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're gonna find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And if you do see any videos whilst you're here that you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like to see, then please don't forget to share these on your social media timelines. If you want to check me out on X, formerly known as Twitter, I'm at CWTEK. Or if you want to check out my website, it's CWTEK.co.uk. Thanks very much for watching and speak to you again soon.